Let's close this one out. Let's close it out. Close that one out. Open up a new one. What we're going to do this time is we're going to, for new Linux users, I'm going to show you how to get and install game mod so you can use it with Steam. And then I got another one I'm going to do. And why do they keep doing that? That is just, ah. All right. Anyways, this is how you get game mod on an Ubuntu slash Debian based system. It might be different for Debian, but an Ubuntu based system, this is what you do. Type in sudo apt. Oops. Fine. Install game mod. Type enter. Type in your password. And this is my bare metal machine, so. Alright, now I've already installed it, obviously. What that'll do is it'll still install the application and the dependencies for it. And what this application does is it sets a higher performance state or a higher priority for the games that you run. Now, how to do this, close that out, minimize that because I need it later, is something like, here we go. Navigate to the game that you want to play. Go over to manage, down to properties, open that up, and type in game mod run. Now, Mango HUD, I have Mango HUD installed, and it used to be pretty much straightforward. Now it's not. Now you have to build Mango HUD in order to get it to work, which sucks because that's kind of an intermediate to more advanced users. So, anywho, basically you you would uh, type in, I lose my train of thought here. I was going to describe something, but I'll, I'll wrap around back to that. All right. Anyways, you type in game mod and then type in percentage command percentage. For now, just ignore the mango head part. And uh, just got to close that out. And what that does, like I mentioned, it gives it a higher CPU performance state for the game. It prioritizes it over other stuff in your system. That's, uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, it uh, prioritizes it over more unnecessary things. I'm not positive. My memory is kind of failing on me right there. All right. After that, click on play. And I'm using Shatterline again. You guys are probably getting tired of seeing this one. But um, I haven't had this much fun gaming in I don't know how long. So we're going to open her up. And I didn't set any performance on my uh, NVIDIA UI or anything. Now, this is not what Mango HUD looks like by default. This is through Go Overlay. Uh, Go Overlay is a manager for game mod, game mod and uh, name of the other two. But on average, I have to get about mm, three hundred and thirty here. And 
and in this section, I wouldn't be getting this higher frames here. Uh, it normally gives me, well, I have my settings. I've changed my settings too on it. I'm running me, medium, low, and high to get this kind of frame rate. Now, if I were to bump these two up, this would drop down to, uh, I don't know, 180, 190 frames, and in end game I'd be getting 70 on average on this i5, 2400. So it's boosted it up maybe 7%, and that's significant on the old machine, trust me. I'm able to play um, a lot of newer titles because of this. Alright, now I'm going to just get away and get back out of this thing. And we're going to click, yeah, click stop. And the next one, the next little trick I want to show you. If you have an executable game in the .exe extension, and you want to add it to your Steam library on Linux, this is what you would do. You go down to the bottom left, add game, add non-Steam game, browse, go to your folder where you have your game downloaded. Now I have my own, that's not showing up, darn it. I'm have to navigate to that sucker. Okay. Uh, where is it? Games. Now I have game a game folder that um, Epic Games installed uh, heroic game launcher installed for me. It's a thing on Linux. I'm gonna talk talk about that next and shoot off the top of my head I can't remember, but it'll come back to me. Anyways. Now what I did was is I went and found some games of executable files in them. And I've already installed Slender, so we're just going to run through it and add it again, and it might not let me, and it might. But anyways, go in here, click on it, and basically what you want to do is also drop down all files. Now, you want to go where the executable is. Where are you? Darn you. Oh, did I bypass it? Must have been in the first part. Uh, let's go there. Yep. I did. Sorry about that. There's the executable file right there. You click on that and open. Add the selected programs. Now you got, now I've got two of them, obviously. And I might have to back out of this and go to the other one because I don't know which one I did. Nope. All right. Let's close that out and re 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 walk you through it. So after you do that, click on Manage, go down to Properties, Compatibility, click on Force Use of this bit. Force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool. Now I've got extra ones. I've got GE Proton on here. I've got TKG Proton. And I got Proton 7.orce.ge-1. Okay, anyways, what I usually do is I click on Proton Experimental, close this out, and now the game should run. And when you hit play, and it should just right up, open right up for you. Ta -da, there you go. Graphics 1360 by 768, which is the natural resolution for my desktop at the moment. Now, if you want it windowed, you can put it in window, in the windowed mode. Graphics. Since I got a decent CP, uh, GPU, I don't know. A lot of people say the 1050 Ti is garbage. 
it's been night and day difference compared to what I used to have. I used to have a 745 a GTX 745 OEM, four gigabytes of DDR3 memory. So we're gonna do that. Make sure the input's okay. Yeah, that's right. I forgot the the input right here is all the controls on the keyboard. Back to the graphics. Double check that. We're gonna go full mode with this and click play. Oh, that's why it's not working for me. Because I have it tied in for Steam. <laughs> That's why I couldn't get GameLive to work on the other one. I wonder if I can add that in there. I might hit pause and try it and see if it works. And if it does work, then... Okay. Anyways. Alright. We got Mango Head. Game Mod is... Not. Let's close back out of this. We got... The, well, anyways, we got the game installed for you. Don't remember if we have an options on the first part. Ah, we do have launch op options. So what you want to type in here is game mod genocide command. Percentage sign. C O N. <laughs> All right. Now after you do the compatibility do it on the shortcut go down to launch options close the sucker down now this is the first time i've tried game mod with this and this opens up and bam bob your uncle oh yeah it did it's tied into team only i wonder how you do that huh oh well close back out of this now it's getting about 60 frames per second what I'm gonna do here is re-click on this and drop it down to like the console where it usually is for console and click play and see if there's a difference on frames per second see how much you're getting out of there i mean on a 1050 ti 300 plus frames per second that's not the machine that's, that's not that that's really good for this thing to see what this looks like between fantastic which is the highest setting possible on this game and we're gonna be getting six frames of that that right there is extremely playable so let's start the game and see what it looks like and then we're gonna go back and drop it down the lowest setting. It's kind of freaking me out. This is Halloween, so. Yeah, the textures aren't all that great. But. Not bad. Okay. Let's 
jump out of this. Play again. Then drop it down to fastest. Let's see what it looks like. I just can get over 100 frames per second of getting on this game. And I get that on Shadowland in the intro. But then it drops down to... Where I got a set drop down to 90 to 110 to 120 frames a second. You really don't, it's a little fuzzier. Yeah, it is pretty, it, I'd say it's about 20% fuzzier. The grass looks the same. Okay. Alrighty, that's enough for this, for this game. Alrighty, well, there you go. Game mod. And uh, your own personal executables run through Steam, through Proton for you. Now, this isn't going to work with every game. I ran into a problem with one game so far, and I got like, like 10 of them, but only one didn't work. Because it had uh, Python in there. I didn't realize it. That would need to be run in a different way. I'd have to figure that out. Maybe through Bluetooth. I'll have to try it. I'm trying it. Alrighty. Hopefully this was informational and yeah, I kind of stammered my stammered my words quite a bit tonight. I had a rough day. And medications and my mouth is dry. Dry. Hey, if there's anything you guys want me to do specifically, just let me know down in the comments down below, both on YouTube and Rumble. Uh, I decided I'm going to do normal sized videos again on, on YouTube. I had a change of heart. I figured I'd uh, stick with it and help uh you know maybe help the cause out maybe help things youtube down the road i don't know i'm not, nowhere near big enough to do anything with them but anywho like i said i hope this was helpful and leave some comments down below please like and subscribe if you're on youtube and over on rumble subscribe and rumble me Rumble me, baby. So, uh, take it easy, be safe, and keep your eyes on the sky. Because you never know what you're going to see. <laughs>